In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Live Action 3.1 or 3.0. To start, you'll need to download the Live Action server, the Live Action client, and you'll also need the Live Action license key. Let's start by installing the Live Action server. So let's click on the server download button and run the install, which will take about a minute or so. Once that's done, we'll hit next to continue and then accept the agreement. Now this is a software directory where the live action server will be installed on the hard drive. And this is a data directory where all the QoS data, alert data, and NetFlow data will be stored. Next, we'll pick the standard installation with 4 gigs and 100 or less devices. Then we're going to the Start Menu folder. We're going to choose Start Automatically and then let the install run, which takes a couple of minutes. So this pretty much completes the installation process of the Live Action server. Live Action will then start right after the installation. Then it's going to check for the license. As you can see in this example, this says the license is going to expire on January 31st, 2014. If you have a license key, you can change the license key by clicking the button at the top. For example, if you have a permanent license key, you can click it to change it, which will bring you to this window. You'll click Next if you have a license file, and then browse to the Live Action software folder where the license keys are stored. You can then select the key and then click Finish. Now you notice that it says the service is currently down. You can start it by going to Manage and then Start Service. And while we wait for the server to start, we can start installing the Live Action client. This is a standalone Java client and it will work with the current live action server. So there's two ways to connect to the live action server. One way is with this standalone Java client and the other is through the live action web start. So we're going to do the same thing here once that's done. We're going to click next and then accept the agreement. Click next for the folder you want the client to be installed in. Hit next, next. Then the install is going to run. Once that's done, we're going to hit finish. Now let's connect to the live action server with the live action client that we just installed. We're going to open up the client. If this is the first time that you're trying to connect to the live action server, you're going to need to configure it. So we click the configure button. And since we're running this locally, we're going to use the local host and the port is 700 for a standalone Java. Once that's done, the default password to log in is admin, and the password is admin as well. And once it connects, it'll ask you to change the password. Then once you do that, it'll start to load. And now you've successfully connected to the live action server from the live action client, and you can start adding in devices. For technical support, please contact support at actionpack.com and to download a free trial of live action, go to www.actionpack.com slash download slash live action. Thanks for watching.